Okay, this is a three-phase meter socket. It's what you call a seven-jaw. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven jaws. I'm going to open up and show you what's inside of it. This is for three-phase power. You've got hots, one, two, three, that are hot that come down from the uh, service provider. And then the outputs are these three hots. They go off to the sub panels. And then over here, there's one that is a neutral. This is the bypass that's used. So before the meter man pulls the meter, he goes through and pulls this over. And that shorts the lugs together. And then he can pull the meter out. And that's so there's power still going to the customer. You don't interrupt the power if you have to swap the meter out. This particular one is a 41407, and it's for used typically on three different types of services. It's typically used on, uh, very common for like a 12208, like it's used at McDonald's, uh, or a smaller restaurant. McDonald's probably uses a 320 amp. This is a 200 amp uh, unit, and a 208, 120, you'd have... These three hots are 120 volts to ground, and between these two is 208, 208, 208, and that's for a 120, 208, three phase Y. And of course, this is the neutral. And another, another configuration that's used uh, is a higher voltage configuration where you have 277 volts, 480. And that's where you've got 480 across here, 480 across here, 480 across here. And then you have 277 between each one of these three hots to the neutral. Then the lesser configuration that's used is the three-wire, three-phase, four-wire delta, where you have two phases. These two are 120 volts to neutral. And then the third phase is the stringer phase, which is 208 volts to uh, down to neutral, which is close to ground. So you have 240 across here, 240 across here, 240 across here, which is a delta, 240 across it, and then the center point here is is the neutral, which is close to ground, and from the neutral to the top point, which is between here and here is 208 volts and that's on a three phase four wire delta which isn't used that much uh, I actually have one in this building and uh, it uses a seven jaw meter and the seventh jaw here connects up here to the neutral ground area on this which is on this particular box I believe they can be bounded uh, connected up together and that's so the meter's got a reference uh, of where these plugs are with respect to ground. The seventh jaw is actually used on uh, a three-wire, uh, three-phase, four-wire delta. And on that, this is all hooked up by the electric company, generally not an electrician. Uh, it's hooked up by the electric company on a three-phase, four-wire delta. This is the 208 stinger phase. And that's because that's the way the meters work. They want the stringer phase on the right side. And that has nothing to do with the sub-panel, but it's just from the metering company, from the way it hooks at the power company, they want the stringer phase to be on this side. Now, in this locality in the deep south here, if this is used for 480 volts, 277, they want the output of this to go to a uh, load disconnect that you can switch off another box directly the meter. They want to have something directly they can turn off uh, after the output of this meter socket to, before the uh, other stuff, other breakers, just so they have like basically a main disconnect, probably for fire or something. Anyways, that's the Talon. It's one of the brands, 41407, three-phase meter socket with a bypass. This is the bypass they use to short the lugs out for the pull a meter out so you don't still have a load to a customer if you want to swap a meter out.
And it's what they call a 3R enclosure, which is for outdoors. This pops in here like this. This particular variant is aluminum, which sometimes they use here in the south, a little bit more robust uh, and saltier than the steel for, 